make it your own, own, make, make it your own. Hey everybody, it's No Name. We've got a little bit more news about Nintendo's interest in mobile gaming and Team Ico's upcoming game, The Last Guardian. Alright, so a little while back earlier this year, a little bit more than a month ago, I believe, I reported on Sony dropping their trademark on The Last Guardian, the game developed by the studio that made Shadow of the Colossus. Well, Sony filed the new trademark on March 12th. Hopefully the game will be coming out of PS4 soon, as Shadow of the Colossus is probably the best game to come out for the PS2, debatably. And Sony has reiterated and stated that they are still working on the title as they are re-engineering it for PS4. In other trademark news, Electronic Arts filed a trademark for something called Unravel. The trademark is something to do with video game software and entertainment. I'm personally guessing that it's going to be either a new IP or a gaming engine for game development? Possibly? I kinda doubt that, but who knows. Alright, so back to Nintendo. Details have also come out that Nintendo is planning to launch its first mobile game this year and intends to have multiple successful titles early on in their mobile sector. I've got a ton of links down below on this information. DNA said that the two are planning to have a title that has over 100 million daily users which is nuts. Candy Crush had like 94 or 95 million daily users at its peak, and Nintendo and DNA want to topple that. I'm not saying that it can't be done, I mean, it is Nintendo. They'll probably be coming out with a game that's something related to Mario. I mean, I don't know what other game would topple 100 million daily users. Dying Light has sold over 3.2 million copies in just 45 days, and it's outselling Dead Island by over twice the rate. Dead Island was also made by Techland, the developer behind Dying Light. Rock Band 4 is going to be 1080p, 60 frames per second on PS4 and Xbox One. I can't remember if I already reported on this or not, but hey, I'm reiterating it. Codemaster Studios tweeted out a teaser image hinting at a possible over Overlord 3 game. Codemasters is the studio, the developer, that made Overlord 1 and 2. The Predator has been added to the roster of Mortal Kombat X, as the roster gets crazier and crazier. And that about wraps it up for the past few days. If you liked the video, comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace.